Hello everyone and welcome back to Satellite Rain. So I don't have this new shield yet because I thought it was a little scummy to just sit around and wait for 20 minutes. Um, I don't know if it's scummy or not, but it feels a little scummy. Um, one thing I did notice, we jump into our black market dealer here, is there's some subdermal plating here. I don't know how to pronounce that other word. Fascia? I don't know. But anyway, it looks really good. Um, increases your health generation, increases your armor, basically makes everything better. Um, just to compare it to our other stuff, we compare it to, yes, the version 1 here. Increases health by 25, so this is clearly the version 1, whereas that's the version, yeah, that's version 2. So we can afford it, so I say why not? It is yet another prototype, which means we're going to have to do some more research on it. Um, that shouldn't be too big of a problem. Because we have, yeah, required four, staff is of 10, so that's fine. And then the other one for the shielding is required four. So either way, I think that means that we have eight of our staff working right now. And if we look up in the top right corner, you can see we have one available. So I don't know how that works. Um, but anyway, yeah, shielding is only 11%. So it's going to be a while. So I'm not going to wait for it. Um, basically, if our plan doesn't work without the shielding, it's probably not going to work with the shielding. Um, I don't know if that's strictly true, but maybe. So we need to take care of this turret, so we know where to go to that. That's down here. Um, there's going to be lots of guys to beat up because it's like that. Um, we do have rifles all ready to go. Um, I would love to hijack this guy here, but I don't think I'm going to do it. Mostly because of the dog. The dog sees his hijack, he's going to try to get on the action. Um, actually, maybe, maybe, possibly we do it anyway. I think the other guys can get rid of the... Oh, wait, he, this guy's about to come out, isn't he? Um, no, actually, they ignored the door. Huh. Okay, if I can just wait for these guys to leave, I might not need to hijack anybody. Uh, might is a strong word there. We Everything is repaired. That happens. Um, I did exit the game and go back in, so that seems to indicate to the game that, oh yeah, I should totally repair everything, so the door's no longer blown up. Um, and this guy's a jammer, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's going to cause some problems, especially if he's the backup. Um, could I hijack him? Hijack cost 117% of energy regen. So it'll cost more energy than we regen to make it happen. Um, or we just kill him, which is also an option, I guess. Okay, are we done with all the freaking guards? You notice the red marks around us. That means we're being suppressed and our abilities won't be as good. Um, I have a feeling... Oh, man, we have what? We have one, two, three, four, five guys. Six guys. Six guys. Somebody behind the thing there. Um, well, five guards, one dog. We done now with all the freaking guards? No, of course not. There's more on the way. You know what? We're never going to get a perfect opportunity. Might as well just go in. Um, actually, we just lob a grenade, like, right into the middle of them. Well, that would have worked if I had lobbed it, like, right where the dog is. But then they all moved. <laughs> Um, okay, they're all moving that way. I think now is basically our perfect time. Go ahead and open the door, number three, and we'll see if we can get in here. We are going to have to deal with the door, or uh, with the camera, rather. Um, as soon as the camera goes by, okay, and weapons out, and that's right, we can't shoot down the camera. I forgot about that. So come over here. Shoot this guy. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to... Okay, dog's dead. Um, we do have... Um, we do have superiority in terms of height. Um, hmm. I don't know if it's going to do us any good, but we have it. Come on, come on. Kill the... Oh, man, there's freaking dogs everywhere. 
Shield's down already. Number four is not looking that hot. Um, are we suppressed? We are not suppressed. I think now it's time for a grenade. Take care of that guy over there. There we go. That did that. He's dead. Um, take care of the drone. Perfect. Good. Take care of the other drone. Good. Heal up a little bit. Come over here. Beat up this guy. Dead, right? Yeah, there you go. Come over here. Blow you up. Or kill you, rather. Good. There's a dog, but he can't seem to open the door by himself, thank goodness. Wow, we um we got hurt a lot, lot through that. Not loving it. But we took care of all the guys. So, okay, that's good. Take care of the camera, which means reinforcements will not arrive. I don't believe the dog can call for reinforcements, so we're okay there. Yeah, pick up all the ammo you can, guys. We're not done yet. Not by half. Okay. Disabled. Come over here. Weapon's still out because we're going to have to take care of the dog. Um, can we hijack the dog? Yes, actually we can. And no one will be the wiser, so then... Um, drop your weapons? Drop your weapons, though, guys. Drop your... Why aren't you dropping your weapons? I don't know why they're not dropping their weapons. Um, number three. There we go. Number three. Go ahead and come over here and open up the door. Double-clicking number three worked, but... Um, for some reason, I can't get them to... There we go. Now they're all the weapons dropped. I wonder if it's because five couldn't pull out a weapon? Maybe? I don't know. Let's, um... We can't release number five now. He'll just attack us. Uh-huh. Um, how about this? How about we take number five, tell him to go through the door? Um, go, like, all the way over here, number five. And then when you do that, then I can release you... I'm going to need to hijack somebody later. And then he won't be able to come to us because... Or he won't be able to alert anybody of us because he's too far away. Okay, so that did take care of the... Um, of the turret. I'm coming over here to regen our armor and our ammo. Ammo's less of a concern. Just top us off, basically. The armor, though, is definitely a concern. And I'm kind of wishing for better armor, but that's okay. We'll get we'll get there. Um, so I think the way it's divided up right now for the armor is um, the first little bit before the line is the armor we have in subdermal planing. And the second little bit after the line is what we have due to our body armor. Which I currently, I believe, is medium. So, right, now we can come in over here. Yeah, the door's not blown up, unfortunately. Um, but that's okay. Um, is this the dog that we hijacked before? That's pretty funny. Um, that would be a jammer. I'm really tempted to pull out guns and just shoot him. Actually, yeah, do it. That takes care of him. That takes care of him. Come over here, guys. Before he takes too much cover there. Good. Take care of the dog. <laughs> I hate that thing. Okay. Now come over here. And take care of this dog. There we go. Now they're going to try to get through. They're not going to be able to. Should I... I should probably throw a grenade here. So get behind some cover, guys. And number one, go ahead and throw that grenade, like, right there. And that'll blow the door. Yep, there it goes. Come on through, guys. And beat up this guy. Good. Beat up this guy. Good. Take out the camera. Good. We're going to get some response. But that doesn't matter too much. Because he's dead. All right. Got some guys through the door. Or one guy through the door. That's it, huh? Okay, just don't let him call for help. But not an issue. 
Um, we really need some ammo, guys. Um, is there any? There's some ammo over here. Good. Thank you. And pick up any ammo over here as much as possible, guys. Take care of that camera. Good. We just called in some reinforcements. So go ahead and throw a grenade over there, number one. And then take some cover. Okay, that helped us a little bit. Um, this is a problem. These lasers are a big problem. We need to get behind some cover. Some kind of cover. Any kind of cover, really. Okay, if they don't see us, all the better. Man, those shields can take a beating, can't they? I want some of those shields. Okay, they're going to open fire again. Number four is going to take the worst of it, I'm fear. Yeah, he is. But he's dead. Um, drone. Drone and grenade out. Number one, what are you doing, man? You're too close. Oh, number one, what are you thinking? Get over here, guys. Get behind here. Fast as you can. Good. Okay, we're going to have some Dracogenis guys. Which is not going to go well for them, I don't think. Take care of the drones. They're out. And they're out. Okay, anybody else? Yes. A bunch more people. We're not out of um, grenades yet, but I don't want to use too many of them. I think if we go through the door, we'll be ideal, but... Oh, come on. Take care of this guy before he calls for help. Good. Now this guy. Almost done. Good. Um, grab the ammo, guys. It's kind of funny how this still counts as plasma ammo, but I don't even care. Okay, we got everybody selected. Grab as much ammo as you can, guys. Good. And good. Okay. Now, I believe we want to go up this door, right? Um, yes, we do, because we have to take care of the turret, which is through here. So, yes. So, number three, go ahead and hack this. And as soon as we do that, we should be able to go through the door without anyone else being the wiser. Dracogenics being an internal facility is not going to go over well with the Eternals, which I'm okay with. As soon as that turret comes back online, that's going to be a problem for them. Um, hmm. Don't love this. The drone's definitely not going to see us. Okay, never mind. I thought for sure he was going to. Uh, there's nobody else here. I think what we do here is we cloak number three and tell him to take care of the cameras. We've done that before. I think it works out best. All right, so that'll take care of that camera. Then we go over to the vent on the other side and take care of the generator. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and go back over this way, actually, number three. We might have to take care of that drone. Um, and don't cloak. Good. Um, maybe? The drone's in a weird kind of patrol pattern here, right? Not just me. Oh, no, he totally saw us. Take out the drone. Good. That might have called an additional attention, so we need to get out of here. Reloads as often as possible. Um, we do not want to do this yet. <laughs> now with those guards right there. Wait for it. Um, three. While we're waiting, can you take care of these cameras? I have a feeling those are the cameras up top. So we probably want to take care of them anyway. There we go. Okay. Now we probably were fine. Because there was a wall like right here across from the generator. So I don't think they would have seen us anyway. But I prefer to be safer than sorry. Okay, number one, go ahead and take care of that generator. Now where does this leave us? So that disables this turret. There we go. Turret disabled. Um, and we want to come upstairs here and go through this vent. So actually, we need to stay upstairs. And I think that was a mistake before, is not staying upstairs. So come on, guys. We'll go over here. We might be going into a firefight here. Um, yeah, we are. Okay, if you launch a grenade like right here, that might be a good starter. Surprise! 
And then take care of this guy. Good. And then take care of this guy. Oh, we're launching a bunch of fires. Okay, run over here and hit this guy in the face a lot. Um, we're going to get lots of guys. That's okay. Keep going. We'll go upstairs. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Don't even slow down. Go through the vent. They're not going to be able to hit us very well, and I'm okay with that, and that'll give us time for our shields to recharge. Okay, right through the vent. Good. They will lose track of us, which is fine by me. Now, number one, go ahead and disable these generators. Hopefully they don't control the door, because if they control the door, that's all kind of bad, but I think we're okay. They still think we're upstairs, which I have no idea how we're going to get out of here. I don't have an exit strategy. That's my problem right now. But that's a later problem. Okay, so we took care of those. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's, that took care of the cameras upstairs. Good. So all we have to do is go straight up. Now, we do have guards, because of course we do. Um, so that's going to be a problem. There are only four of them, though, that I can see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> uh, eleven. Um, I'm counting these down here. Eleven, twelve. Um, so we got to be really careful with this. Can we lob like a grenade, like over here? Not really. Okay, cancel out of that. Um, hmm. How are we going to do this? There are 12 guards here. I mean, taking care of this definitely helped. And that took care of this turret. The jammer is not helping at all. But if we go for the jammer, we're doomed. Just straight up doomed because it's guarded too well. I mean, we can might be able to lure some guys in. The doors are disabled. Are they? Yeah, they are. The doors are disabled. So we don't actually have 12. We just have 10, right? So maybe we can work that to our advantage here. Um, okay, who do we actually need to get through this door? What's the exact mission objective here? Um, so not the, not the black market dealer. We're in the grid, House of the Eternals, Eternal Temple. Okay. Get our agents in there. So really, it's we need to get all of them in. Um, and then we'll have some kind of prototype to get to, suck, to smuggle out. But really, we need to take care of the 12 guys before we even breach it, right? So how are we going to do that? Well... So there's a door over on this side, but I don't know where it goes. Oh, it goes up here. Um, does that help us at all? Maybe? The thing is, the thing is, we'd have to be over on this door, right? And then sneak basically all the way over to the other side to go up a level. But on the upside, that would keep us in cover. So, kind of, sort of good. They are all bunching up around here. They're not going over to this side, so I think we're fine if we do that. Number three, go ahead and hack this door. We can go ahead and go up here, and then next time they all bunch up like that, we lob a grenade over. I don't know if we can aim that well, but I'm going to pretend we can. And if we tuck up inside next to these plants, we might be okay. So, yeah, just stay over here, guys. Um, as close as I can get you, and I don't think you'll be noticed. Okay, this isn't a great plan, but it's a plan. Um, they shouldn't notice us. We do have a jammer there, right? Um, we have lots of jammers everywhere. Fortunately, we're out of the range of two of them, but that's only going to help us so far. Or help us take so far. Um, if we can sneak all the way over to the other side, can we? I don't know. That seems like taking an unnecessary risk. I might be able to get the infiltrator and the hacker over there because they both have stealth. Does that help us? Um, maybe. Maybe. Um, not right now, though, because they're both walking over there. 
the thing is, if I can get the hacker or the infiltrator over there, the infiltrator at least can assassinate them from behind. And then the hacker can hijack the other one. It's not a great plan. I don't love it. Although if they're going to come over here, because they're clearly investigating both sides. Okay, so we might have to do this anyway. Hacker to hijack, four to assassinate, or they're just leaving. Um, really? Because that'll be the easiest thing of all time. We have full energy. Okay, you know what? Go, 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 go. Like I said, I don't have an exit strategy, but this is my entrance strategy. Heavy shield incomplete, of course. Okay, go up here, and then maybe we just leave through the door? They might not even know we were here. That'd be pretty funny. Okay, get what you can. We're going to steal a bunch of blueprints. That's actually really good. And then go through the door, guys. Um, the thing is, we have to leave with them. And that's the tricky part. This might be a mistake, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, I don't actually see any guards, though. At least not on this side. Yeah, I don't see any guards. Um, though, we can't get through this door. Ha <laughs> ha We can't get through the door. Because why exactly? It's a one-way door. Um, that's less helpful than I thought it was going to be. Okay, what do we do about that? Um, is there a vent or anything we can use? Um, no. No, there's not. No vent. No zip line, no vent, no ability to leave at any kind, of any kind, of any sort, of any way. Um, we can go down this way. That's where the spawners are, but I don't see a good way out. Yeah, okay, we'll do it this way then. I don't love it, but <laughs> I don't know how to get out. So we go this way. I think we're fine. Then we're not going to be spotted. But we'll eventually be spotted. There is a zip line. Oh, thank goodness. There's a zip line. Um, where does the zip line go? Do we care? <laughs> Out of here. That's where it goes. Um, down to a generator and almost to the exit. Almost to a exit, anyway. There is a tank there, though. I don't like that. Um, do we want to go next to the tank? That seems like a bad idea, doesn't it? Um, is that tank powered right now? It's probably self-sufficient. And the cameras will alert it. And let's see. Do we have any good way to get out of here? Maybe? It might work. It'll drop us right there. That might be outside the tank's line of sight. And then we open the door and dash through. And do what then? Um, go through this door, go through this door, which takes us up again. We don't want to go up again. It's definitely not what we want to do. Um, so we go down this way, through the purple. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a plan. <laughs> it's a plan. I don't know if it's a good plan, but it's a plan. We won't be able to run the whole way. We'll be trapped. Um, there is a... CCT network. Okay, so what we do, I got it. We send in number three. We send in number three cloaked. He'll cloak, go down, open the door, disable the camera, and then hide. And then one, two, and four will follow him. I don't love it, but it's better than no plan at all. Okay. So three cloak, then come over here and slide down the zip line. Now, if he dies, we don't have a plan B, which is bad, but okay. Now, him being cloaked means he's not going to be seen, but his cloak's about to run out. Okay, uncloak, so we can regen some energy. Now, just don't be seen. Oh, he is carrying something. I didn't even realize that. Oh, that's really bad. Okay. Um, come on, number three, regen some cloak. This door is ticking by really fast. Um, I think we've reached fuck it stage. Go. 
Because <laughs> the drone was coming. It was going to see me. So I had to do something. Okay, now uncloak. And that should take care of the camera. Good. Oh, didn't take care of the right camera. Oh, hell. And they alerted him. Okay, number three is going to die. We need to go through, the, do this, do the zip line right now. Go, go, go. And the drone just got awoke. So we're going to come down here. Go through the door really fast. Um, keep going, guys. Keep going. Take care of them. Okay, the, the uh, tank is now responding. That could be really bad for us. Come on, guys. Blow it up. Blow it up. Take care of the drone. Good. Um, we were supposed to go through the purple, right? But we didn't. That's okay. There's a vent over here. That'll actually help us, I think. And we still got everybody. This is a by the seat of our pants kind of move. Um, the camera's not going to see us, right? Okay, good. The camera doesn't see us. They're going to lose track. Um, I probably should have disabled the camera. But that'll wait until they decide to give up on us. Yes, they clearly don't know that we're inside on the other side of the vent. So that's good. Let's verify that to deactivate the camera, we'll deactivate the ones we want. Okay, it does. Um, okay, they can see us. That's bad. Okay, go through the vent and then take care of this guy. I think he's the only one who actually does see us. Uh, there's a beacon, like, right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't let him call for help, guys. Just kill him. Okay, good. Number three, go ahead and take care of the security camera. Oh, we left at the right time. I do think we want to go this way, but we need to somehow pass the vent. I think we activate the control valve. We can get rid of these pressure release vents. So I think we go down this way, kill this guy, which is not going to be quiet, unfortunately. Oh, unless number four comes over. Nope. Okay. Just kill him. Um, we're going to get a lot of attention through that, but go here, number one. Take care of this vent. Um, then we're all going to have to leave through the vent again. Through the grate, rather. Or we just kill these guys. That works, too. Okay, he's going to die. Good. He's next. Good. We could really use an exit strategy, guys. So, three. Disable the security system. Um, we have a bunch of guys coming. Kill this guy next. Good. Eat through the armor. Good, good. Very good. Nicely done. Let's leave. All right. Put away your weapons. I think we're out and we're in the clear. Let's go ahead and go to the beacon, which is right nearby. Okay. So that was pretty good, actually. We had a way in. We kind of half-assed our way out, but it worked. And now we just got to wait for the threat to die down, and there we go. We got a remote satchel EMP, an overclocker. Um, a Zeus Plasma Beam and Sprint Legs V1. Zeus Plasma Beam. Okay, I'm curious. What do you think that is? Um, since we got a blueprint, we can just buy it. My guess is it's a weapon. Zeus Plasma Beam. Zeus. Zeus. There it is. Zeus. Oh, <laughs> that looks impressive. Oh, it's a heavy weapon. Okay, that's fine. Accuracy is 99%. And it has an incredible amount of range. I guess it depends on whether or not it's a glancing blow or not. Okay, so then what can we do for augmentation to make it so that we don't have a heavy weapon penalty? I'm pretty sure it's one of the legs, right? Um, support and stability... Um, will not be knocked down by explosive or heavy attacks. That's not what we want. bio -like fiber is not what we want. What kind do we currently... Oh, okay. We currently have the bio -like fibers. Got it. Got it. Full leg replacement. Let's just do the... Okay, so we don't have a leg replacement. Let's just do heavy weapons. Is that something we can buy at the black market? 
black market dealer, um, probably augmentation, and biofibers. No, though that is better than what we currently have. Increase health by 30, increase armor by 30. That's nice. Nanofiber muscles. Okay, the arm ones let us negate the other ones. Um, nanofiber muscle version one here. There we go. Oh, decrease. Doesn't negate. Decreases. Still, by 60%, it's pretty good. It means we drop a little bit in armor and health, but overall, I think that might be worth it. Especially if we all wield miniguns. I think that'd be pretty awesome. We wouldn't be able to run nearly as fast. But I think that's okay. At least it's worth experimenting with. Um, though right now, we wouldn't be able to afford it. Yeah, that's right, because we only have 25k now. Well, I'll debate. I'll debate it. Um... I'll debate it a lot, probably. What other missions do we have right now? So if we ignore the black market dealer, go back to the grid. House of the Eternals. So we have the induction clinic, which is right there, actually, not too far away. Um, so that's good. We already know more or less our way in. So let's go ahead and purchase some information and see if there's some way easy we can get in here. Um, we've prom been promised to hook up and an internal storage key pass. So there's a secure storage room somewhere. Oh, down here. Oh, you know what? We still haven't hacked that ATM. Um, but let's go ahead and do this really fast. I realize we're coming to the end of the episode. And the last episode was an extra long one, so I want to try to make these. I'm trying to make them around half an hour. It's ending up being more like 45 minutes each. Um, it's not necessarily on purpose. Um, I just get so wrapped up in the mission and trying to make everything work that I kind of get overexcited times. Uh, okay, where do we go for this thing? Oh, there it is. There's the package right there. Um, is that actually... Yeah, supposedly we need to go, like, right here, but... Oh, well, there's our guy right there. We just need to talk to him. He's cleverly outside the range of the camera, so that's fine. Hello. Storage room pass required. Okay. So that should make the next bit a lot easier. Um, let's go up here and see where this is at. Um, yeah, maybe. Um, that's a lot of cameras. <laughs> but I think only one set of doors. No. No, there's a door there. And a door there past the vent, but the vent we can't get past unless we already... Yeah. We can't go in that way. There's probably another way in, but I don't know what it is. Um, so go ahead and select this. Fast travel all. Because uh, we went through this gate. But we only did that because we managed to shut off the vent. If we hadn't shut off the flow control valve, I don't know. We wouldn't be able to go past there. Um, and there's no... There's nothing hackable on this side either. So much as I would love to go through this way, we can't. Well, that's too bad. Um, there's got to be another way in, but I don't know what it is. Uh, so we'll figure it out next time. Or I'll try to figure it out, or we'll half-ass it next time. It worked this time. We had a strategy to go in. We didn't have a strategy to get out, but we worked anyway. So, you know... Lightning sometimes strikes twice. Actually, if you know your science, lightning strikes like 30 or 40 times the same place. Just it looks like once because it moves at the speed of light. Um, that's going to be my excuse, is that we're going to basically try to mimic the speed of light. Doesn't sound like a great plan now that I say it out loud, but hopefully I'll come up with a better plan B next episode. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Satellite Rain. I'm Peace to the Universe, you're Peace to the Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.